Yo, welcome back to the Wicked Edition. Leo, we are coming uh, to you live from, coming to you live, Kweli. Okay, coming to you not live, from Ndani ya Bungoma County. Tuko somewhere in Bungoma County, ndawambia where, uh, shortly, I'm in the course of the show. But mkijua tumefika huku kote, it was worth it. This is one of the most interesting experiences you wanna hear. Kuna time to play kwa show a clip, uh, a very funny clip, ya yeah, watu waki arrestiwa during curfew. Alafu, uh, one of the guys arrested alikuwa na t-shirt. Wewe ujui, wewe si polisi wewe, ujui wanyama. <laughs> so, thanks to a friend of ours, a friend of the show, amekuja kwa show yetu, um, I think two times, the former GSU officer, George Musamali, asante sana for him, for helping, set, uh, for helping us set this up kupata wanyama mwenyewe. The former OCS, Wakondele, and very many other police stations in this country. Johnston Wanyama is in the house. Karibu sana, boss. Asante sana. Yeah. <laughs> Mimi ndiyo, majina yangu yote naitua Johnston na Kitari. Yes. Wanyama. Wanyama was my father. Yes. So Wanyama is uh, the son name, and mostly yes. while on duty, we normally use the son name yes. than my own name. So Wanyama is known than myself. Yeah. Ah, uh, umeendelesha legacy vizuri. Yes. Ah, uh, asante sana kwa kutukaribisha kwako. Yes. Eh, tumetafuta hii story sana na tunashukuru sana for the humility na zile story umetupatia na tuna feel wa Kenya pia wana deserve kusikia part of the the experiences zenye umepitia. Yes. Na I think ya kwanza inaweza kuwa ni mimi kitu inaniwasha sana ni kujua ni nini ili ku interest kuingia kwa polisi kwanza na uli serve miaka ngapi? Mimi, my uncle was working in police. He, was, he reached the level of a chief inspector. So I admired him. When I was a young boy, in primary school, I taught myself how to close one eye. I knew police normally close one eye when trying to, <laughs> to do their job or when they are in the range firing. Then I taught also to... I could coordinate my eyes. I close this one and then I close also the other one. Yes. At the same time, I've opened the other one. Yes. So I got interest. I got interested. Then I started walking, even at school. Yes, yes, yes. They were marching, when, uh, seeing on, on, on how police were marching. Yes. Then one time, there were times where I could go up to Webu on foot. From a place we could go to Webu, it took us only one hour. We used to take only one hour to reach Webuye. As I began the police being in Webuye when I find a parade, I stay around watching that parade, how they are marching. Yes. Then I became interested to join that force. Ah, you, you need passion. You need passion. CV yako, si mchezo. Yo video, umeona yo video wewe mwenyewe? Ebu, lacha ni kuonesha yo video. Lacha ni kuonesha yo video. Ndi ujue maali story. Umeona tu partial imekuanga hapa kwa simu. Eh, ndi ui hapa. Ushindi <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> Sasa kitu kitu ulifanyia nini watu wa Kondele mpaka wanasema au watu wengine si polisi Kondele crime was crime was it was my panda juice ID Yes yes mm. one a single day there could be even four or six robberies in one day within Kondele. Yes. Then they, uh, what b b took me to Kisumu, they killed a businessman by the name, he was nicknamed Kweka. Yes. Kweka had a petrol station just outside Kondele. This man was taking money to the bank. Then robbers attacked him and killed him and took the money. So the residents of Kisumu, Kisumu started blaming, blaming the police officers around because they didn't manage to get who are these culprits. 
So when Raila went there, they had to uh, the state demonstrations along Kakamega Road for at least three or four days. They blocked the road completely. Then when the prime minister, by the time uh, that time Raila was a prime minister, he went there and he was told not to speak anything unless they see me. Then uh, Raila used his powers and conducted the commission of police. He was Matthew Terry. By then I was the OCS Mutaika. Yeah. At around midnight, I was somewhere in Ruaraka, Shell Petrol Station. There was a place called Chomason. I liked playing pool game yes. there while waiting for any grime. If any, there is any grime in Madare, I could drop to Madare on foot immediately. One person? No, I was uh, having some two. Some two others yes. who were my, my, my workmates, yes, yes, yes. a senior sergeant and uh, another one. Yes. So while there, I was shown on the TV that demonstrations in Kisumu whereby they were saying, they were telling Raila, you cannot speak to us unless we see Wanyama. Yes. Then he, he talked to Itere. And immediately after that event, Mimi Nikiona Kwa TV at the Wakati naingia kwa nyumba hivi kitu saa saba, yes. simi inaingia. You are supposed to go to Kisumu, you are going back to Kisumu. Yeah. Mm. Na ulikuwa umetengeneza relationship na wao. In fact, I think I, I really like ukisema kwa handover yako hey. ya kwa watu wa Kisumu. Yeah. Bile how to deal with people of Kisumu. In, in coming years, yes, I was writing, uh, handing over. Handing over notes are still there even now. Yes. They are in those files. Yes. How to tackle crime in Kisumu. Yes. The first thing, yes. crack down on all illicit brews, all dens where they sell illicit brews, yes. crack down on them. That is where criminals hide. Then after drinking, consuming those illicit brews, they go to steal to get money to drink tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if you ensure there are no illicit brews, you are minimizing crimes in Kisumu. So that is my work. I didn't like to see any illicit brews being brewed around me. Yes, yes. Uh, I would crack even to the neighboring police station areas. Yes. That is Kisumu police station area, the areas of Obunga Nyawita, yes. the other Kisumu police station area. Yes. But I was overlapping up to those areas to ensure that there is no illicit brew. Ninge mwaka yote kabisa na nikuja baka mari na ito akiboswa. Where the borders of Ihika. Yes. Some other illicit brews were coming from there, me and I end up on a Tegetesa yacht. Aye. Mm. Now, now, on top of that, Pia, I liked your Unasema, the psychology. There is something about the psychology of dealing with a place. Yes. Kama Kisumu, ati, awendi kuja, ukuji mutu wa Kisumu, ukiwa 100. Yeah. Don't go with the police officers on a vehicle, especially on a, on a, on a lorry, while armed with the tear cars, with the rungus. Oh. I'm doing the rungus, yes. tear gas, na 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 sila ni missing ine. Easy, easy shields. Yes, yes, yes. You don't go with them. In Kisumu, that. If you go with them, that is provocation. You start fighting the end there. <laughs> that is provocation. Go personally and talk to these people. These people are very good people. If you don't know, the place I've operated very well is Kisumu because I knew them. They normally want good approach. If we approach them, if we approach them very well, by greeting them and asking their problem, greet them by hand. If possible, greet them by hand. You cannot go there and start saying, what are you doing here? And you start beating them. You will fight and you will break a lot of property, vehicles and businesses. They are always ready. Yes, they are always ready. Remember in Kisumu there are no many <laughs> there are no many industries. Yes. The industries that are the, they are for for Asians mostly. Yes. Yeah, private industries. Yes. But government industries we don't have in Kisumu. Yes. So these people normally stay on the road. The only business in Kisumu is the the the, the, the transport, the stage, the stage at Kisumu. Yes. It's the only source of business mostly in Kisumu yes. and the fish mongering around. Yes, yes. Yeah. So these people, when handling them, approach them, go and talk to them, greet them. That is the uh, first thing is approach. The second issue is recognition. Recognize their leadership. Yeah. If you don't recognize their leadership, 
that is another way of provoking them recognizing their leadership society yeah like the chairman the secretary then ask them what is the problem then take those leaders to the offices talk with them from the offices these people will remove the, the barricaded roads and they will clear now, now how did you they will start this? even clapping for you Mm. Is, is this a special, you've worked in very many police stations, yes. is this spe as, as specific to Kisumu? That is, is specifically for Kisumu. And Kisumu is a field where there are so many loose stones. <laughs> so, if you are not careful, <laughs> if you attack them when they go down, they will stand up with the stones. <laughs> they will stand up with the stones, and when they aim the stone to you, yes. They, they won't don't miss you. <laughs> Even they have slings. And I've tried when I was a child, I tried to use a sling. Yes. I cannot aim a sling and thrust on to educate you. Uh -huh. But those people of Kisumu, <laughs> when they swing that sling and release a stone, it they come direct to you even 200 meters away. <laughs> so I, yeah, I don't know uh, the technique. Yes, yes, yes. But you take care of that. Mm -hmm. So if you provoke them, a lot of property will be destroyed. Yes. Mm. People's businesses, vehicles, vehicles will be stoned, no vehicle will have a windscreen. This is a very smart thing you've said. This is the opposite of what people are complaining about now at yeah. police brutality. Yeah. You can talk to people. Yes. How did you learn that? How did you learn that this is the way to deal with the people of Kisumu? There was one officer who retired. Yes. He's in Eldoret by the name Choel Maru. This man was a staffing officer operations in Kisumu. After Ruiru, he was transferred to Kisumu. So he's the person who gave me that technique. Uh, he told me, "Do you survive Kisumu? Yes. We see the police na muanza kupika watu, and then pole pole tu ongea na wa watu. Na nika kundua yoni kajari bo nika wana ina ingia. Nika jari bo mali na enda na piki wa makofi. Eh, nika wangele cha vizuri wana siki wana sema muzame ongea." Mzaa meongea, wanapiga makosi, wanakinia barabara. Na hii watu yao, na wachukua kama VIPs. Naenda na ofisi, tunaongea vizuri. Iwa na ibudiyuzi maimane, hata nitumane kandini, nikuwa hapa na tumana soda, tunakunwa na wawo. Kumbe na wasoma, na wasoma vila ya nabihevu. Na, how do you separate such VIP treatment, basa sasa now when dealing with criminals in Kisumu? Do also do criminals also get the same VIP treatment? I st no, you can't give a criminal VIP treatment. But for those criminals who are disturbing, who are causing some disturbances mostly, yes. if I get your names, I had so many informers. Yes, yes, yes. Anything, even firearms, when they come to Kisumu, I'm the first to know. You can I get I recovered so many. Information, even now, I'm still working for Kisumu even now. There are some ah. people who still know that I'm still in Kisumu. They call me at night. Then I have to call the OCS Kondeli or the OCS Kisumu. Si wakulipe ba? Saidia watu wana wanabamiwa maali fulani. Nikiereza watu muta kinitikia simu. Nisena, ah, mimi nitoka uka. Sasa mimi mpafani yake. Nitawa wewe yereza wale wako wakuje. Sasa mimi najukua jukumu. Kimbia nyawita maali fulani fulani. Yuko robari inaendere hapo. Then the OCS runs there. Or the duty officer by that night. Yes. Hata jua atafanya nini. Na hii inamanisha basi you have not retired. Yeah. You are still active. Mbado na wafanya kasi tu. Na saingini una miss job. <laughs> Senior, ume, ume, you have a very decorated career. Vile nimesema. Uh, you've worked for President Moi for miaka ngapi? Five years. Ume mufanya job miaka tano. Yes. Uh, ilikuwa aje kufanya job na ye. Do you get to meet the president? Tukiwa kwa presidential escort. Anakujua we ni nani as a person? Ama ye job yake ni wewe ukifika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, najua wakubwa. Tulikuwa na wakubwa kuliko sisi. Unaona tulikuwa na watu kama madaraka ya, 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 ya wakatu uo. Yes. Wakiwa waja badlisha ranks. Yes. That man was a senior debut commissioner. A person like Samson Jerambos. So hao ndi walikuwa karibu. Lakini sisi ni mipango ya nini. Siasa sisi na we were directly responsible kwa watu kama huyo escort commander huyo. Oh, mm. yes. Mimi yes. wakati huo nikiwa chief inspector. Yes, yes, yes. Or I may be sent for an advance party somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. Niende ni yoko na isi huko. Alafu nitampikia simu. Nimeoko na isi. Tumepanga hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi.
ananiereza ni sawa mahali anaona iko makosa fulani ananiereza hapa rekebisha ufanye hivi na hivi na, na hivi na so na mpea akilia picture of the ground where they will come yeah. oh, na, na, na ukiwa kwa kwa convoy yenyewe wewe ni kuhakikisha tu sana sana kama mimi nilifanya position ile kare la mbele ndio una unanga mbele imekuja hivi imeenda iko karibu saa kilomita za ahead yes, yes. i normally used to work on that one oh, una pia ni special thing kuchaguliwa kuingia kwa presidential yes, school yes yes ah okay uh, sawa sawa na umetrain pia ma, specifically hostage VIP protection VIP, oh, VIP protection VIP protection ndio ukienda escort unafanya hiyo So, so VIP protection ni ile wanasemanga ati mtu wa threat president unatokea wewe upigwe risasi kwanza. <laughs> <laughs> wewe unasuia vitu kama hizo zifanyike. Eh. Unakuwa na mind kwamba yes. Pengine muko mahali utaona tu mtu suspicious maybe yako na kitu kama barua. Anataka apelekee president. Sasa mnasuia vitu kama hizo. Na mtu mwingine anataka tu unnecessary tu mtu anatoka huko anataka asalimie president hiyo ni makosa sasa mtu yeah. akienda kusalimia akukupita hiyo wewe ndio uko na makosa yeah, wewe ndio uko na makosa umewajiria mtu sababu utawaja mtu kumbe amejifunga maybe explosives anaenda hapa anajiribua si amemaliza e, president na mtu akipita asalimie president na wewe ndio unafaa kumzuia Inakuwa Sama, ni mtu wako nyoka kama president mwenyewe amesema ah ah waajiria yeye akuje wewe enda na yeye usiwaje aende peke yake enda na yeye hapo karibu ndio mlipuke naye just in case. E, lakini sasa utakuwa hata wewe umeona vile yako. Ukiona ni mtu ya wasiwasi hata wewe utafunga masikia hata akisema wajiria wewe ingia naye kwa watu sukumana muende mtoke naye. Na, na training iko in such a way that mkiwa kwa mkiwa mkifuata president kuna mahali ukiona mtu unaweza ona katikati ya umati ule mtu wako na nia mbaya. E, unamuendea huyo. Simuko watu wengi mnakuwa watu wengi kwa hiyo ni nia sikari mnakuwa wengi. Yes. Sasa wewe mwenye umeona wajia huyu mwingine hii position yuko for that person enda huko e, ama anaongea president anaongea na yeye huko anaongea luka mbaya kama matusi ana tukana president e, unaenda unamtoa hapo na unapeana kwa 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 kwa, kwa nini kwa police kwa wali. security ya hiyo area na oh. una inform as code commander this yes, person yes. has been saying this and this and this Alam. security ya area ita eh, DC ndio ata hand over such a case yes yes atajua vile yes, yes. atafanya yeye na security ay. yake Ai 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 ai. Na 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 kama kwa hostage rescue yeah. kuna vitu unaonanga na it's very interesting ukipeana story yeah. ya situations zenye umeona kwa TV things that could have been done differently. Yes. One of your most interesting stories ni kwa wakati mlikuwa mna organize uh, Tocha Chambers, Nyayo Tocha Chambers. No, haikuanga yetu hiyo. Eh. Nyayo Tocha Chambers ilikuanga ya watu special, ilikuanga ya watu because kama CID na nis ndio walikuwa nafanya hiyo kazi lakini sisi regi tu kuenda huko when we went there we went only to save those officers who had been nini held hostage by that 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 trained terrorist ndio tulienda hiyo hiyo chambers tulienda tu kuokoa that senior officer ah. alikuwa amepikwa risasi na ameshikwa hostage that alikuwa, case only alikuwa na alikuwa na muinterrogate alikuwa na interrogate hii mtu hii mtu yes. alikuwa mwa Kenya Yes. Na alikuwa amekaa ngambo. Yes, Sikia yes, alikuwa yes. Norway ama wabi we told yes. no. Yes, yes, yes. So while being interrogated alijukua hiyo firearm na akamtwangia firearm yake. Laki. Na akadisarm watu huko chini. Alikuwa trained enough to disarm the whole yes, place akini. Yes. Na think nafikiri mnakumbuka mahali kujanga mahali ya mwa Kenya wakati watu walishikwa shikwa. Yes. Hata watu wengine wako hata saa hii. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. That person had trained somewhere. Na, Sasa yeye yes. alikuwa ni threat kwa serikali. Oh, mm. yes, yes, yes. So wakati anahojiwa, yeye akachukua bunduki ya mwenye alikuwa anamhoji na akamupika risasi na akaenda akadisarm askari huko chini. Askari ya polisi ni uniform. Yes, yes, yes. Akaenda akadisarm aka yeye. Yes. Akawa disarm na akachukua amari yao na hiyo masilai yote akawa in control. One man. Yes, one man. Na sisi tukaenda huko saa moja ya usiku without the map the, the plan of the building lakini tukakilia huko. Mlia mlipiga e, no, siku kuku... kuku... e, tu, 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 siku siku vitu zinaitwa kirnet zingine za kushitua tu. <laughs> Samulio tu ya mshituko tu. Haina kitu. E, haina kitu lakini ni mlio tu ya ya kushitua. Yes. Sasa wakati 
tulitupa tupa kama mbili tatu tukasikia jamaa mahali anapigia risasi tukaenda amejiloko na ndani na iko ventilation ile room mahali yako tukapika tia gas huko <laughs> pika kama tia gas tatu si tumevaa mask yes 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 ya kajimalisa ye mwenye ah na, na, na what's the most dangerous place umewaka ukisema kisumu uli learn vile una deal na watu mm. what's the most dangerous place umewaka in your 35 years experience tandore Dandora ni bad news. Dandora ni bad news. Hata kusikuvaa uniform huko. Huko hey. ni mungiki mnapika na tumujana na mungiki. Mujana risasi nalia. Umewahi kuwa kwa hizo shoot out za twende twende. Sa Dandora the was. Huko hata nimeponyoka tu kidogo kidogo. Umekuwa na moments zenye unaponea na bado unarudi kazi unaacha. Forma hivi unawaja kwa nini? Si wewe ulikula gi hapo. Eh. Hey. Si ulikula gi hapo. Na sasa wakati ulikula gi hapo. Si wewe gasi yako ni kutetea inji yako. Yes. Na hii watu unaona ni criminal they are not licensed. Si mnaendelea na wao tu. Unaendelea <laughs> mm. na wao tu uone nani ndio yako na training ile kali. Yes. Eh. Na mkifanya job akiwajiria hata wewe rusha yako eh, iende. Na, na ukifanya job eh. kwa history yako eh. kuna kuna macriminals walikuwa wanatengeneza pia CV eh. vile wanyama ni polisi eh. na watu wanajua wanyama. Kuna eh. criminals pia mlikuwa mnasikia mnajiambia huyu huyu eh. ni bad news. Eh. Mulikuwa mna mulikuwa nao unajua na nini yuko wengine yes. kama wale nilikuwa na name lakini waliwawa wote yes 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 kama this men of muranga walikuwa ndio the deadliest lakini yes. walienda kina washushu kina wanuku yes yes hiyo yes. ni timu yangu ile nilikuwa nayo lakini ingine ilikuwa best ni naguru ndio walikonganga kama nani alikuwa alikongewa kapatini na naguru mahali imemwa kwa mapombe juzi imeua watu yes 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 wanuku alikongewa huko na mwingine akakongewa langata alikuwa anaitwa washushu yes, then yes. madheri inigiria hii ni kwake hiyo ya madheri nakumbuka yeah, alikuwa kwa cow shed hapo kwa 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 kwa, 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 kwa shed ya mbusi code yes. shed yes hata akaumiza askari yetu mmoja anatoka hapa soi yes mm. na inakuanga mkishajua mtu ni mubaya hivyo yeah. askari akishajua mtu ni mubaya hivyo tunatafutana na yeye sababu yeye pia anatafuta sisi na akiwa yeye ni mubaya na amekonga watu wengi yes si hata sisi tunatafutana na yeye na ukimupata we mnarushania tu hakuna hakuna hata kuulizana swali hata uende pole pole hata wewe ndiye fulani hata tafadhali nimekuja kushika huyo inakuanga kongana kongana tu cha ukimshika ati, ati m, uki, ukitafuta intelligence yeah. umshike hivi yeah. kuna nafasi ya kumpeleka through the whole process ya koti ama hao kuna mahali nafikanga mtu hana hiyo kabisa huyo hawezi shika na mna hiyo Sababu au wezi jua sababu yeye yaka amepanga kukufa wakati napatikana na kufa wanakuanga anakuanga nayo na mtu kama huyo paka mtakuta hako na pisto yake kwa kiuno anywhere yes, anaenda yes anywhere popota anaenda hawezi tembea bure hata kwa kilabu hawezi ingia kwa kilabu tu hivi hivi hakuna yes. hakuna na hakuna na kama kuna mwingine alikuja kwa news ati Kani. akaenda kwa kanisa yeah. akasema alikuwa amevuruga vuruga mahali anakaa yeah. akaenda kwa, kwa kanisa akapeana bunduki akasema yeye ameokoka kama huyo anasamehewa yeah, huyo huyo anasamehewa huyo huyo tunapeleka kotini anaenda kujibu ile makosa alifanya huyo ameinua mikono ukipika huyo risasi hata wewe unafanya makosa unajiletea laana na si Yesu pia amemsamehea kwa kuenda kanisa kuna gani eh eh <laughs> Yesu acha msamehea state ndio inashitaki yeye sasa aliua watu ya serikali ya Kenya yes yes, yeah, yes it yes, is yes. the state that, that it takes that person to court ah yeah. na kuna 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 system ingine. sababu tukimwaja watu wengi wataua watu na wanasarenda wanainua mikono peleka court ndio court ndio itapeana justice Yes. Mimi siwezi fanya tu kama askari. Yes. Nifanye tu nimeamua hivi sababu yeye amefanya hivi nimemsamea hata yes. ameenda kwake. Nitakuandika na nikupeleke nikuchukue vidole na uende kotini na zile kesi pendi. Na sio ina Siko faili mingi zinakuanga pendi. Na sio ina discourage watu kujitokeza kusarenda pia. Utasarenda na wewe ni muwaji sasa hata hata ukisarenda. Ukisarenda utasarenda hatutakuua saa hizo. Yes yes. Eh tutakupeleka tu kotini kupea justice uenda ushitakiwe tu ufungwe kama utafungwa ama kama watakuwa quit ni juu ya koti yes, yes, lakini yes. sisi tutakuwa tumefanya kazi yetu ile tunatosha tufanye ya serikali na wewe nini ilikuwa inakupatia motivation juu ka, kama mimi nilikuwa na, nilikuwa ukinifikia story yako ya ati mudhaiga uko na mtu uko na mgonjwa uko hospitali unaambiwa watu wa Kisumu wameleta noma rudisheni wanyama lazima uende 
we ukifika hapo wewe na mnao si muongeze pesa hauwezi sema hivyo huwezi sema hivyo sisi ni disciplined sisi atuna atu union ya kututetea tupate pesa unajua watu wako na union na sisi sisi kama ni watu kama polisi hawa na union ya kuwatetea wapate pesa Hey. Yo juzi wameanza kuleta hiyo commission juzi hii ya kina kabuluti. Yes, yes, Ingine yes. sijui imekuja tena wamenete vitu kama ipoa pia naona inaandika kwamba watu wanatosha wafanyiwe hivi wafanyiwe hivi sisi hatukuwa nayo wakati huo. Ah. Wewe unangoja tu paka wakati kama ni president atafika mahali aseme hmm. hii watu waongezwe kitu fulani wanaongezwe. Oh ni wote si ati wanyama hey, ni wote, si sana. Mmoja peke yako ngumu. Eh yeah, mtu mmoja peke yake atakuongeza namna gani? Basi basi ni nini? Hata ufanye nini mzuri hakuna. <laughs> Maybe mtu hii ni good will ta aone ulifanya kazi mzuri hmm. akupe pengine 2000 5000. Ah. Aseme hii ni asante wewe unifanyia kazi. The whole a whole county. Yes yes. yes. Eh. <laughs> a whole county inaweza inaweza kukutambua hivyo. A whole county inaweza kukutambua hivyo kama askari eh. but lazima u conform to system vile hiyo. Yes. Hiyo ni kazi. Hata za zingine, asa zingine napita kwa mkubwa na wewe si rahisi uingie kwa hiyo mkubwa huko kama kwa pipi au utaenda uulize kama uh, iko kitu alipewa huko. <laughs> Yeye atapata kwa, kwa jina lako tu na anakula. Yes yes yes. yes. Eh kisumu kwa kanya... jina lako. Inakuwa ni yeye amefanya. Si unaona mw... hata wadogo wanafanya kazi lakini mkubwa ndiye atakuwa amefanya. Yes. Inahesabiwa yes, yes, ni mkubwa yes. alifanya hiyo. Eh. Yes. Na basi ni nini ilikuwa inakupatia hiyo motisha ya kufanya kazi mpaka watu wa kurespect wanakupigia makofi? Nilikueleza kila mtu ako na hopi yake. Ah. Sasa mimi ni kama vile unaona mtu akicheza mpira, yes, anapenda yes, kucheza yes. position fulani. Yes. Eh. Hey. Yes. Anacheza kucheza kama ni defense ama yes. anataka awe striker huko mbele. Yes, yes, yes. So hiyo trainings za ruiru continuous trainings. Yes. Si motivate na tukapenda kazi na kuna kitu tena ulisema ikanifurahisha sana mm. ndio udeal na crime ya Kisumu yeah. ukienda ushike mtu yeah. anafanya illicit brew yes hauchukui hata pesa yake unapeleka kotini na natuangwa fine na kituangwa fine mimi kama osi yes sio fine ndaletewa kopi ya charge sheet yes inakuanga na kopi ya charge sheet yes. ina root station yes yeah. na hii kopi na root station mimi naweka kwa file Nikikushika tena mara nyingine with the same offense. Mimi na na, na attach here the, the previous copy. Yes. So that I enhance the file the fine in court. So Sasa macho tutakiona copy ndio hii charge sheet. Anafungua anaona copy nyingine this is the previous one. Si ndakuwa naandika na forwarding letter. Yes yes yes. Hii mtu alifanya hii makosa wakati fulani fulani nikaletwa kumpika fine fulani yes. see the, uh, the, the attached copy yes alafu tena amerudia tena na ndiye amesidi sana na imesidi imeleta <laughs> mpaka hata tulali <laughs> unakongwa ukikongwa vizuri <laughs> unaokoka unaenda kanisa <laughs> nasema mimi mambo ya pombe <laughs> umewacha so umefanya watu waokoke yeah. na wasi hata mali nilimalizia ni ni Mount Elkon yes wana believe kwa hiyo pombe kienyeji Yes. Nilijaza watu kimilili kotini yes. paka watu wakajaa makanisa. Hata ukipita tu uulize huko mahali inaitwa Kaptama huko Mlima Elko ni hapa juu. Yes. Wanakueleza wanyama alifanya kazi paka makanisa ikajaa watu. Yeah. Mapombe yote nilimaliza yuti 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 yuti. Na crime yeah. ikaisha. Na sababu mostly wa, wa walevi wa pombe yes. kumbuka hawana source of money. Yes. Sasa wanaenda kuipia watu ndi wapate ya kukunywa. Yes yes yes. Yeah. Next day sababu kila siku wako kwa hiyo mapombe anakunywa kila siku wako kwa hiyo mapombe yes. usiku wanapanga wisi yes. wanaenda kuibia watu wapate kukunywa kesho ama hii wiki kesho yes, yes, yes. Hey. na mumetrainiwa pia ana kwa training yako vile hey. criminals wanafikiria eh hey. mimi nikikusoma hivi najua wewe uko na mambo gani unaweza angalia mtu hivi ujue huyu hey. Na ukiletewa interrogation. Yes. Eh, kama kama kuna kuna very many unresolved murder cases. Mm. Right? Mm. Ulisema kitu kingine tena na interesting mm. uh, ya yeah, ukipigiwa simu ati kuna murder case ime happen. It is me the first to reach there. Hata duty of za kiwa hajafika. Yes yes yes. Most of the cases mimi ndio ya kwanza kufika. Na unaweza kuwa ta kwa motorcycle. Si ni pike simu driver kuje duty of za kuje na gari anijukue. Yes. Na jukua motorcycle. Sana sana kisumu motorcycle sirikuja kitambo sana. Yes, yes, yes. Sasa nikipika simu tu. Yes. 
huwa nimekaa nje ya nyumba nimesimama nje nikireceive hiyo simu yes. already niko nje kwa barabara hapo na ngoja nione kama iko pikipiki kuja kuja unipeleke mahali yes 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 na na uki, 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 ukifika mm. kuna, kuna kesi umewahi tamani sana ufike mpaka mwisho na mm. inakuwa na dead end hauwezi solve in terms of mm. kama unaona huyo jamaa the businessman mwenye unasema mm. mwenye alifanya urudishwe tena huyo mm. mwenye alipigwa risasi mm. so eh. kulikuwa na occasions yes ukiwa we ni dangerous ni, ni unaripotiwa kila mara kwa yes. wisi unaripotiwa kwa wisi mimi na kuita ofisi yangu Gudisa yeah. kwenu ni wapi? Yes. Unasema kwetu ni migori. Yes. Migori ni pesa ngapi? Yes. Ni 500. Yes. Natoa yangu kwa mfuko. Yes. Chukua pesa ndiyo hii. Yes. Kwenda migori. Yes. Usikanyage kisumu tena sababu wewe hapa, sababu yes. ya kutoa hapa ni hii. Kwenda yes. nyumbani mimi naokoa wewe. You go home. Yes, yes, yes. Chukua pesa ndiyo hii. Na mtu anaenda na anaenda kabisa aenda aipe kwao ama aenda aipe <laughs> Mombasa. Mahali mimi siko. Hiyo technique tumeisikia sana yeah. na sijui how effective ilikuwa <laughs> juu some, some of the Unaama siku hiyo na kupea pesa na unaenda kwenu nyumbani ama kama utaki kwenda kwenu nyumbani enda kama Nairobi ama enda Mombasa lakini toka mahali mimi niko sababu hapo wewe ndiye unaiba ah. mm. through intelligence watu wako wanaitwa nyumba kumi. watu ya yini, watu wengi sana watu ya nyumba kumi. hata machifu pia wanakujua tabia na wanaleta report Yes. Na mimi sijawahi kukushika. Mimi na kuita na kueleza bwana, chukua hii pesa, go and steal from your home area. Not here. Na kukuwa na kesi za mtu ameekelewa uongo. Ah, ah, ni ukweli. Na anaenda hata yeye anachukua hiyo pesa anaenda akikutana na wenzake anasema, "Eh, wanyama amesema niende nyumbani. Mimi naenda kwetu mimi sitaki nikuhifia hapa Kisumu." Na, na wewe hawakuwa wanakutarget. <laughs> <laughs> Kama wewe ndio threat kwa wote. Hawakuwa na kutarget. Wana target lakini sasa wataweza mimi wazi. Eh. Hapo ni wezi. Sababu hata the techniques yangu wakiniona. Yes. Muda hawa hapa mwisi hawezi kuchukua kama atinikuja anipike risasi. Yes, yes, yes. Anaenda, anaenda yeye anaona ndo hapa. Mimi nitaisha yeye anaenda. Hawezi ka. Hawezi ka. <laughs> na, na, na kuna watu kuna watu kuna watu wanafanyanga ma crime kama hizo ati ameenda ameua mtu amemada yeah. alafu anaenda na maisha yake inaendelea tu vizuri ako tu sawa hajajulikana hamjajua ni nani hamu, lakini mimi mpaka nikufuate nikupate mimi through my intelligence nitakupata kesi ukipata kesi ime happen yeah. utafuata mpaka mwisho si file inakuanga na unda file yote statement nimeandika yes na hakikisha file is in place yes sasa nikianza kukutafuta hivi nikikupata kesho yake kotini. Ama kama nimekupata Friday utaishi ndani paka Sunday, Monday asubuhi uko kotini. E. Na, na kuna watu mnapatanga unajua wewe kama wanyama e. unajua huyu amefanya e. alafu anaenda koti anaachiliwa. Si nakutai tena sababu mwisi ni yule yule tu atarudi kuiba. Sababu is used to stealing so that he, 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 he feeds his family ama anakula. Yes, anakula yes. ile stara na kulanga. Yes. Sasa sinakutai mtena ukirudi nitakuwa nime set my forces on the ground yes, about yes. members of the public. Yes, yes, yes. Ndiye huyu anaiba, robbery inafanyika mahali fulani na huyo fulani ndiye huyu wako ndani. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. E, e, e. Na nikija nikukose kwa sini, si nitakutafuta tu na nikikupata hata ushikiwe dunia nyingine na circulate signal. Nitafutie muda anaitwa fulani fulani anatoka mahali fulani kwao ni mahali fulani. Yes. Circulate in the neighboring nini? Stations. Na hiyo ni poa sana yeah. na hizo techniques uli apply yeah. kama hiyo ya ku, vile ku deal na watu wa Kisumu. Yes. I think that's a, st- a case that should be studied. Yes. Why can that mbona hiyo isiyekwe kwa police station zote before we deal na watu understand them. Mm. Ndio watu waache kulia hii mambo ya police brutality. Watu wengi hawajuangi. Watu wengi hawajuangi hata isile handing over to na hand over. Yes, yes. Wengi hawasomangi. Muda na haja yake tu aweke signature. Yes. Pengine ajeki tu ama rajeki mabunduki sote siko ajeki risasi yote iko. Ana sign ya me receive. Asome vitu sote na afadhili ama kama atasoma hiyo handing over, mwingine aiwekelei maana ni anaanza ma operation zake. Mwingine unakuta hata hiyo operation fakia ile ile tunafakia ile si di bruise yeye afanye, anakaa tu office. Yes, afanye. Yes. Na kisumu you cannot stay ukaa hata miezi mitatu kama wewe ufanyi operation watakuwa watu wamedemonstrate unaenda 
I'm the only one who stayed in Kisumu for all those years. Yes. Watu wengi walikuwa nakuja wanakaa kama ni Kisumu ama Kondele Police Station. Kama mimi nikiwa Kisumu, I stayed with the 12 OCSs in Kondele. Mimi nikiwa OCS Kisumu tu. Wanakuja Kondele wanaenda. Sababu Robert Bado sinaendelea tu na watu wana demonstrate muda anaenda. Once the demonstration is carried out against you as the OCS you go. Na mimi nikaendelea Kisumu tu paka nikamaliza miaka sita Kisumu. Na uki 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 work, uki work, na unajua ume deal na Kisumu na ikafika mahali crime iko low. Ukitoka kidogo wanaamka. Yes. Mahali kama Dandora inaweza take nini ndio ifanyike kama hiyo Kisumu mpaka watu wakuwe ni safe. Ni kuongeza maposti. Dandora Dandora nilienda nakuta station ni ya nini? Ya Kaudang, floor ni ya Kaudang. Unatafuta oh. samati ndio mnawe mna nini mnatengeneza floor. Yes yes. yes. Eh. Ah, ilikuwa kwa... mahali chafu tu na hakuna nini na station yake. Hiyo yes. ilikuwa pato ni post. Wanipeleka kwa post. Yes. Na station yake ikawa ni buruburu na ni mbali. Yes. Sasa huku ni crimes ni mingi paka hata mjana. Haiwezi kuwa handle. Haiwezi kuwa handle. So it needs more more more, more ba, nini post in Tandora. Yes yes. To yes. cap crime. Lakini pira kuchenga nini posti siwe mingi huko. Hiyo yes. Tandora bado ni shida tu. So lazima kukuwe na installation hey, za criminals was there na ka huko. Ah. Majapu yote imekuwa ikipangiwa Tandora. Hata panga robberies they were planned in Tandora. Then... Panga wakati tulikuundua tuka suppress wao. Otherwise robberies ziko na pangiwa Tandora na zinafanyika na wanafaulu. Unit yako ndiyo ilikuwa responsible kumaliza mambo ya bank robberies. Yes, robbery. ya banga robberies kuisha kuisha kuisha. Sasa hivi unasikia banga robberies. Sasa hizi banga robberies ile iko ni inside job. Inapangwa na watu ya ndani. Hata kama hiyo ya matu. Watu ya, ya nini si ajabu watu ya banga wako ndani ndiyo walipanga hiyo. Na mulifikaje? Mulifikaje kuamua ati kuna wave ya bank robberies. What happened? What was the change? Ya yeah, ati kuna bank robberies, we have to deal with this problem and this is how tutafanya na tuta deal nayo. Ilikuja sikafuatana mingi. Yes. E, na wakubwa wakaka wakasema yes. at least paka tupange vile tutamaliza hii kitu. Ah. Ambapo wakaweka sasa flying squad wakaongeza wakaipanua. Flying squad ilikuwa ni kupambana na wao. I worked there for some time in 1988-89. Yes yes yes. Sisi ndio watu ya kwanza kufomu hiyo fly. Ah. Mm. So hata hata hii mambo ya hii kitabu kama kina John Kiriamiti wakisema wao walikuwa wanachafua ama yeye ilikuwa ni 60s ama 70s. Huyo huyo ni 70s. Oh huyo ni mm. before wewe sasa mm. before uingie. Mm. Alafu sasa nyinyi mlikuwa mna deal na wave ya pili sasa afa ya, hiyo. Ya ya pili sasa ya hizo bank robberies. Yes 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 mm. yes, yes. Na na kwa active job sasa hii kama wewe ume retire. Kuna mali unaweza kuwa bado ni active kama police officer. Like wewe ukipata kuna kesi inaendelea, utangoja polisi wakuje, utaita? No sasa ubaya ni kwamba yes. Sina si, si, I'm not armed. Oh, e, lakini nikiwa nayo sitangojea polisi. Una deal na Nikiwa nayo na deal nayo na nawaripotia kuja hapa iko maneno. <laughs> <laughs> na si una, na sinafikiria mtu kama we na hiyo experience over 35 years kwa job si wanafaa kupea mtu yako iko bibaso mingi ya hiyo kitu hata saa hii <laughs> kusema tu aje ikae uh, inakupea ina stress nyingine ufuate Nairobi sijui ende ujase nini sijui na nini uh, ah eh, sasa hata ni, wewe umetrustiwa nayo hizo miaka zote eh, bado unapiki... lakini saa hizi unawekwa vikwaso mingi si hata ni reapply lakini sasa haikutoka na sasa sikutaka si kufuata nikawachana naye ilikuwa process ya kazi mimi e, wakati ilikuja ikakuja waziri mpya na akaweka masharti nyingine yes 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 sasa ikawa there is no need to follow in all those okay mm. but still hata kwa retirement una, mm. unafanyanga majobs zingine mm. za kusave watu yes. kama when the garissa university attack happened you yes. were actively involved in coordinating yeah Mambu but iku. that time i was still on duty lakini siku oh. kwa Auko, hiyo kazi ya huko siku kuwa kwa hiyo kazi ya huko i was on leave here na nilikuwa mount ericon lakini nilikuwa najua mtu moja director of operations in nairobi tulikuwa tume, tuliandikwa na yeye na tulikuwa na ijeshu sasa ni niliongea na huyo. Okay. Eh nikamwongea na yeye na na hiyo nini kamsaidia. <coughs> na wakapata hiyo watu wakakuongea hapo tu. Baadhi walikuwa nimewainform wako. Hiyo mtoto alikuwa kwa kapati hapa 
na wao waga hapa wanaongea watoto wakisikia sasa yule mtoto anatuma tu message oh ana 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 anatuma ana tu message e, nikamweleza tu weka simu silent na utumange tu message yes yes sasa yeye akisikia jojota anatuma message yes, yes, bado yes. wako paka kitu saa kumi ndio watu ya regi wakafika huko na waka, walilenga hapo na waliwapata hapo na reke is a unit that is specifically uh, designed imewekwa yeah kwa ku deal na special cases kama hizo. Ya yeah, mwaso the hostage rescue team ambayo ni ka section ni kadogo tu ya hiyo rec. Yes 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 yes. Mm. yes. Rec iko na section mingi zingine siko operation huko paka paka kibishi turkana. Yes yes. Wengine yes. wako band forest, wengine wako wako upande wa Moyale, wengine sasa hizi wako Liboi Garissa. Iko nao wengi rec iko watu wengi sana. Nao wametrainiwa design wao wakiitwa yes, ni kazi ya kufunga wametrainiwa kwenda tu operation za field huko nje. Yes, yes, na iko yes. watu ya urban areas wale wako karibu. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. Na wakati eh, wa, in your favorite place of work which is Kisumu na I believe kwa history yetu there is so much to learn from other areas zenye applications wanaweza make. Yes. Wewe ulikuwa huko active yeah. uh, active um, in du- on duty yeah. wakati wa post election violence. Referendum 205 I was there. Yes no. Yeah. Ndizi na machungwa. Uh, 2007 008 I was there. Yes. Then in 2012 I was moved from Mudaika back to Kisumu. 2013 elections I was there. Na Lakini wakati... that one was a bit fair of kuliko ile ile ingine ya 207. Na hiyo ya 207 hakukuwa mm. na nafasi ya vile mmetengeneza relationship ya kuongea na kuunderstand. Hiyo haikuwa na nafasi. Hiyo ilikuwa sana sana tukaingia kwa recoveries of stolen property kama yeah. watu wanajulikana walipeleka kwa nyumba fulani sasa ikawa ni chief na ima nyumba kumi. Yes yes. Ndio wakawa wanatusaidia tuna recover hizo vitu. Oh mm. oh oh. There's nothing that yeah, na watewa we recover at tulienda kutandika kwa kwa PTC ya Kisumu. Yes yes yes. Alafu watu wakaitwa wenye vitu siri duango watu wanakuja kuangalia vitu sawa na kuchukua. Na, na, na wewe mm. as an officer mwenye mm. umedecorate umekuwa decorated mpaka after job tumekuja kukutafuta hapa yes. mahali huko. Yes. Any, anything unaweza sema ndio kukuwa na askari wengi kama hao. Mm. Like kwa active duty mm. kuna kuna wanyama wengine wengi. Trainings. Watu warudishwa ngwe training. Training iwe iko every year at least. Na tena wafanyange kitu inaitwa classification. Azikari wengine walipika risasi wakati waliandikwa pengine pengine kitu 1990 paka saa hizi they have not operated any firearm kama kupika risasi. Hey. Ya natembea tu na bunduki lakini <laughs> hata pengine kushika hiyo bunduki aemu apike jambasi wena wena asini si okas yes. hawezi pata. Anatoka mbio hata. Hey, hata atatoroka hata anaweza tupa hiyo bunduki. <laughs> <laughs> so training zinasaidia. Yeah. <laughs> Na wakati wakati before tukuachilie uende wakati ulikuwa unafanya job yeah. eh, unasema unaenda patrol kama madhari. Yeah. Eh, kuna time wenye ulikuwa unatoka peke yako unaingia unaenda kuangalia kwa nini? Kisuma I was working alone in town. One person. One person. One person. Your confidence iko to. Yes, na watu na niko na jacket na nini nimebeba zangu. So kitu ikikuja eh, na mwisi moja akisikia kama iko wengine hapo wanataka kufanya kitu anasema hii ndiye huyu anatutafuta <laughs> na kuna kuna watu, kuna watu wamewahi kujaribu kwa history yako ya hiyo miaka yote wamewahi kujaribiwa Kisumu Manyata what happened na nini na na na, na, na Tandora Tandora nimeepuka AK2 mara mbili yes na risasi inalima hapa na mimi naepa Eh, hebu mm. tuambie. Na mimi nami na jipisa huko. Ya, ya, ya manyata, ya manyata ni nini ili happen? Ya manyata tulienda mahali. Hiyo yes. mahali, yes. Robert ilikuwa inafanyika. Yes. Kumbe mimi nimewapita. Oh. Sasa wakajaribu kuchapa na ikapita tu ikanipita tu ikalandi hapa kwa nyumba ingine kwa ukuta. Mimi nashitukia risasi imekonga. Wewe walikuwa na pima. Eh. Sasa kukeuka ndiyo tuanzane na nikisa yeye alijaribu kuepa ilikuwa kwa kisa. Ah. Lakini hapo ndiyo nilikuwa nimepatikana vizuri. Hapo hapo wang, wangepita na wewe. Eh, hapo nilikuwa niende. Na ya Dandora. <laughs> ya Dandora hiyo hiyo nimeponyoka ya Mungiki mara mbili, sini mbili. Kwa hiyo ma street ya Dandora iko ma street na tuleni mingi sana. Yes, yes, yes. Sasa muda alinitekea tu kwa kona. Na akapiga hapa mbele yangu tu. 
Ni, eh, kauma kwa ukuta hapa mbele yangu na mimi ndiye huyu nikarudi nyuma. Nikajipinda kwa ukuta. Nikajipinda kwa ukuta hata mimi nikapika nami nikainamisha yangu nilikuwa na hiki nikainamisha hivi. Nikajaribu kutwanga. Lakini hata yangu ilitwanga tu ukuta lakini yeye yeah, alitoroka. Hapo tena nikaponyoka. Huyo ni, ni wewe alikuwa na kaka. Yes, ni mimi. Mimi nikiwa mbele tu askari wameenda njia zingine sasa watatafuta mimi. Na mimi nikaponyoka. Lakini asikari walisunguka na wakakonga. Na kurikaba hiyo ege. <laughs> na sasa wewe uki, ukiangalia hizo, hizo ndio the most dangerous places. Hizo ndizo nilirushiwa. Ni, 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 Lakini mingi sikukuwa na rushiwa. Ulikuwa ulikuwa tactical yes, ulikuwa mbele. Yes, nilikuwa mbele yao. <laughs> Basi Mungu anakupenda sana. Ah Mungu anakupenda. Unajua niwakwambia wewe mtu anaweza piga na wewe story asubuhi mpaka jioni na azitaisha hata kufika nyumbani nilifanya hapa party nilijita watu wengine walitoka Nairobi wengine walitoka Mount Elgon wengine Kitale wengine Kisumu yes. watu walija hapa ya retirement yeah, farewell but <laughs> homecoming party hapa 2018 November hapa na huko una miss job au huko una uh, ulikuwa umefika mali nilikuwa nikiwa Kisumu nikija huku wesi wanajua niko nyumbani nikija leaf wanajua niko nyumbani kirai mimi napanda livu yangu inakanzuliwa na rudi ah so wakati <laughs> nikirudi tu ile wiki nimerudi natembea ndani ya watu hata usiku nikipata watu wameweka ka group saa ya usiku saa tano. yes siku ina swali ni nyaunyo <laughs> nyaunyo inapita kwa watu <laughs> nyaunyo inapita kwa watu <laughs> kila mtu ni njia yake Yule <laughs> walikuwa wanaongea inakuamia hapo. <laughs> Unaka hata ungoji story, ah, ah, story katika Kila mtu take your route. Go <laughs> home. Mnaongea nini? Mnapanga nini saa tano ya usiku? Mmesimama kwa kwa estate mnaongea nini? Saa tano ya usiku ni watu wameenda kulala ama wako hivi. Hakuna swali. Kama ni mwizi anaona eh this man was looking for me waja ni ame tu ni mwajie kisumu atarudi kisumu ni kitu So kuna watu mahali kuna fika eh, na unaona tu hata mavazi yao vile wanavaa hii <laughs> watu ni jangili <laughs> nyaunyo <laughs> Na nuno nyaunyo na pia sikari na tembea na sikari kama sita kila sikari na nyaunyo yake Na waereza kama friday kulikuwa sasa zingine na dropper hiyo dropper ndio ni surprise uh, friday watu walale vizuri bila dropper uh, natangaza friday ni siku ya nyaunyo <laughs> pitisha nyaunyo tembesa <laughs> mtu ya huko paka utwange kiboko ndio uh, akusikie lakini ukiwa tu soft hakuna hata kiboko peke yake uh, uh, Oso oh, kiboko ni kuna time table eh, friday ni siku eh, ya nyaunyo friday sababu ndio walevi wengi at members nyaunyo Hakuna <laughs> hakuna na, na hii ya apply na hii hata ilikuwa before curfew hakuna hii mambo ati ah freedom of movement ati nini ndio wezi wizi utafanyika watu watu tano watu sita yes. mmesimama kwa street mnaongea nini usiku hmm? usiku usiku hiyo ni magosa hiyo hii mnapanga <laughs> kitu sasa kuwatawanya ni nyaunyo itembee <laughs> na kuna na kuna mali ilikuwa inafika unatembea tu but kila mtu anatoka hey, mtu anatembea tu peke yangu na kila mtu anaenda saki mm. ama wale wana, wana, wanataka wa bulldozers waingie kwa night club yes na mimi nionekane hizo area tu kwa hiyo street ni hivyo ndio watu wataenda na siku hiyo watu watalala vizuri utasikia kesi yote ya ujangili usiku na bado ukatengeneza <laughs> reputation ya, ya kuheshimiana na watu yes. watu wanakuheshimu yes sababu ukiwa mtu mzuri yes paka ni kuheshimu hata we ni mzuri na tena ile information kama ni wewe ulinipea information ya kitu inafanyika mahali yes. i'll never disclose you hiyo itakuwa ni mimi peke yangu ni mimi ndio nilikuundua hiyo kitu peke yangu siwezi sema kama watu wengine wanasema Ati fulani ndiye alikuja akanieleza ah, yes, yes, yes. mimi siwezi disclose wewe nitakuwa na guusa na ume protect watu yeah. yeah. nime protect wengi sana siwezi nikaguusa mimi nitakuwa it is me who got that information I think you deserve to be celebrated <laughs> na if possible any publishers pale nje tafadhali please look for mzee Johnston Wanyama Johnston uh, na Kitare Wanyama muandike hii story hizi story sisi wenyewe hatuwezi maliza peke yetu watu waandike kitabu
<laughs> Uko na story, si ndio? Eh. Ah, story ziko bana watu wakuja waandike kitabu. Mm. Tunaweza penda kuendelea na kuendelea na kuendelea na history mm. juu. Hata I think tumekaa hapa for long sana. Yes. Na <clears throat> tunafaa kufunga safari. Okay. But asante sana kwa hiyo mm. story. Na we hope um vile tumesema mm. the best way is to put this in writing mm. mimi siezi enjoy hii story peke yangu mm. we'll tell as much as possible from what we've, we've gathered up mm. and again asante sana kwa kutu allow tukuje kwako na tunashukuru sana na sana na sana